Oh my gosh, my hair is growing so much. I'm so excited to share with y'all some tips on how you can grow your hair in 2024. <music> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Princess Renny here, and I hope you're doing well. On this channel, we're talking about Christian faith, lifestyle, as well as natural hair. I'm coming to you from my new home here in 2024, and I'm super excited for all the things that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. The first things first is I'm going to be working on my natural hair, and I have a few things that I'll be working on that will help me grow my hair, and I hope that. These are some things that you might be interested in trying that will also help you grow your hair. If you're interested in any of these things at all, make sure that you subscribe to the channel below. Also click on the bell button so you're always notified whenever I post a new video. All right, let's get right into it. Disclaimer, in case you can see my computer, oh, thankfully you can't. Um, I'll be looking to the side a little bit because I do have my notes here that I'm going to be referencing just so I can remember what the things were that I was going to share with you guys. So. So yeah, here's some tips on how to grow your hair in 2024. The first thing I would like to start off with is natural ingredients. So many of you guys know that if you're trying to grow your natural hair, you want to make sure that you're putting healthy things inside. So one of the things that for sure helps to grow my hair, helps it keep its thickness, its volume, its luster, is Jamaican castor oil. It actually helps my hair to grow and flourish without it feeling like super greasy. My hair loves it. It soaks it up and it just, it feels moisturized for days. Um, and then I also love taking biotin, whether it's the chewy gummy pills or the biotin oil or they have the biotin capsule. I prefer the chewy or the gummies because I, I don't really like pills. So those are two things that I'm really going to be focusing on when it comes to natural ingredients, either putting inside of my body or on top of my scalp. So, yeah. Number two is nutrition and lifestyle. I am a gym girly, so I love working out. And this past year, I've seen the benefits of working out on my hair. So obviously when I'm working out, I need to drink a lot more water. So because I'm taking in a lot more water and my hair is like a plant, it's just like taking it all in and that's really been helping it grow. But also with exercise, my scalp, the oil and the nutrients in my hair gets even more activated. They say when you exercise and drink a lot of water, it helps your hair grow and I saw that last year. So another thing I would say is to add essential vitamins or even essential oils into your diet. In addition to the biotin gummy or the capsule or the oil that you may take in, you can also take in folic acid. You can also have omega-3 fish oil, which is really good, not just for your hair, but your skin, your overall health. You can also use the wild growth oil, which I think is really effective in growing my hair. So I actually have two bottles of the wild growth oil that I haven't really used last year. So I'm definitely planning to use this year and finish it out and like really see that growth. I would also say that if you're trying to grow out your natural hair, it is important that you have a regimen or a routine that you're following. So whether you're choosing to leave your hair alone in a natural hairstyle, protective style, or you have your natural hair that you style weekly or every other day or whatever the case may be, whatever your routine is that works for you, definitely have that and stick to it. If you think about your hair daily care, for example, it can look like you misting your hair, giving yourself scalp massages, throw that every night that you're wrapping up your hair with a silk scarf or a bonnet. And then also, if you don't have those things, you're using like a silk or a satin pillowcase, or doing both to ensure that if something comes off your head, your hair is still protected. So just thinking about that, it doesn't necessarily mean you're doing your hair every single day, but you're thinking of how you can make sure you're caring for your hair on a daily basis. You can also incorporate adding oil to your scalp. I usually do that like every two to three days, depending on the style that I have in my hair or how dry my scalp is. I usually listen to my hair and figure out what it is that it needs or wants, and then I go based on that also need a weekly hair routine. I usually follow a weekly hair routine when my hair is out. Um, sometimes I get a little lazy, but that's not happening this year. We can't be lazy this year, okay? So after I take this thing out, I'm definitely going to be giving my hair some TLC this weekend so that, you know, she's ready for the week because 
we can't we can't <laughs> weekly hair care means that you have a wash day routine whether you're deep conditioning whether you're um pre-pooling you know the whole nine making sure that your hair is ready to take on an entire week of you doing low manipulation styling and just leaving it alone okay just yeah the biggest thing I would say for my low porosity girlies is to make sure that you're deep conditioning your hair with heat. I am going to start back in reincorporating that, like adding steam to my routine um, on a weekly basis or a bi-weekly basis because I want to make sure it's something that I can commit to consistently. But also, I'm going to make sure that my hair is fully detangled before styling it. Not what I did here because <laughs> your girl was in a hurry, so I just kind of like forced it to go up. You can kind of see the back. It, it didn't want to work with me but um yeah I would say make sure that you detangle your hair properly so that you don't have to worry about it breaking off or getting even more tangled just please take care of it you don't have to detangle it every day but at least once a week okay all right one thing I like doing every other month or on a monthly basis is making sure that I do like a protein clay mask treatment or go straight into a protective style to give my hair a break for a month and then going back to natural hair and kind of flip flopping last year though i had a protective style which is my uh full lock which i'm gonna insert right here i had that in my hair for i kid you not four months and my hair has grown drastically my hair loved me for it because yes i was still moisturizing my scalp massaging my scalp and everything else that i needed to do when I was able to leave my hair alone. And like, I didn't have to worry about it. I just styled my locks and I went or I just left it down and then I went. And that was like the easiest, most carefree four months of my life. And I really look forward to doing it again this year, whether it's the braids or something else, but just leaving my hair alone for a couple months. I would also say that you wanna make sure that you're avoiding excessive heat in your hair. I just said that you should be um, adding um, some heat when you're deep conditioning, but it's not direct heat, so let me make sure I'm clarifying that. A lot of people are like, well, you said add heat or don't add heat. Like, what do you want? I'm confused. But yeah, it should just be steaming. That way it's not direct heat to your hair. I like to put the uh, shower cap on top of my deep conditioner, and then I put the steamer on top of my head so it's not going directly on my hair. But anything other than that, obviously do it in moderation. If you want to do a silk press, do your silk press. I don't judge. I love a little silk press every now and then too, okay? I've only had one in my life and I'm looking forward to another one. But live your life, okay? That's all I got to say. Just live your life. Um, but also think about your hair health and don't do it excessively. That's all. Also say in moderation as well. Stay away from sulfates, parabens, all these like harmful ingredients that people put in their hair. I would use like rice water, um, which is also very good for hair growth and you know, reactivating the natural oils on your scalp. Yeah, really good things. If you don't wanna make your own fermented um, rice water, you can also get the Myel Organics uh, rice water line, which has all the shampoo, conditioner, clay mask, everything that you need in it anyways. So. If you want to just, you know, this is a quick plug. I'm not being paid by Myel. I just love their products. So definitely check it out if that's something you're interested in doing because it does do wonders to your hair. Please make sure that you're exfoliating your scalp because there's a lot of buildup sometimes on our scalp, especially if you're doing a wash and go, if you're greasing your scalp. And it doesn't necessarily mean adding like the grease that we know is bad for your hair, but it could be all the extra oil, thicker oils that are like, be sitting in your scalp so you want to make sure that you don't have that build up especially when you wash your hair so if you don't want to use anything that has sulfates in it or parabens or any of that you can just get a natural exfoliator for your scalp and that cleanses your hair all as well so I think that's a really good um, option for you. Low manipulation styling I mean I've already advocated for this so many times when I talked about my faux locks but you definitely just want to Leave your hair alone for a few times throughout the year so it's not something that you're consistently touching or manipulating or, you know, trying different styles, trying different products. Um, that can have a detrimental effect on your hair and you don't want to have that, especially if you're trying to grow your hair for 2024. Like, you know, don't undo what you already started. Let's make sure that we leave our hair alone for a couple months in the year. I like to plan out my hairstyles. Um, granted, it doesn't always work out the way that I plan. But I like to have in mind, okay, next month, 
I'm gonna do this hairstyle for this long and then the following month I don't really know what I'm doing with my hair but I'll have it out and I'll just try to take care of it and do what I need to do I think that's really helpful because you're not just sitting there with like trying to figure out if you should go ahead and style your hair on your own or being frustrated because you're like oh my gosh I was not looking forward to doing my hair right now um let me just add heat or let me just cut it Ooh. You know, like, we've been there. Like, I've been there. I don't know about you, but, like, I've had times where I'm, like, I'm just so over my hair. Like, what if I just got up and just didn't have to worry about it anymore? But I didn't do it because we're growing our hair in 2024. Okay? Okay? Okay. <laughs> Follow these steps. Nurture your hair like a plant and watch it flourish. If you like these tips and you thought it was helpful, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also make sure you're subscribed to the channel and share this video with anyone else that you think will also find it helpful. Stay fabulous and may your hair grow as beautifully as you are. Until next time, be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. Bye guys! Ooh, we growing the hair this year. Ooh, we growing the hair. Yeah, we growing the hair this year. Ooh, we growing the hair. Yes, we grow in the hair this year. Hey, hey. <laughs> Bye.